Right, what a rare break in the rain and a chance to show this lovely boat. She's really my sort of cup of tea, this sort of boat. She's called Two Peas in a Pod. <clears throat> Reverse layout cruise astern, 57 feet long. She was built in 2008 by Liverpool Boats and fitted out by Cheshire Narrowboats. Paint works in good condition. She was last blacked in 2021, so that will be due. Pram hood over the the rear deck there, the cruiser stern. That is in need of a little bit of attention, to be honest. That forward locker is storage. The gas bottles are on the rear deck. And the well deck was three foot six inches long. Good sized window. She's a nice light boat. Decent handrails along the roof as well. I like those sorts of handrails. Easy to grab onto if you need to quickly. So, decent size stern deck. Seven foot six inches long. Plenty of space in here, very social. I'd say the, the pram would need some attention. It does keep out the element, so it's practical from that point of view. Bench seats around the, the back rail there. Gas bottles are in the lockers either side of the doors. And then we go down the steps. Into the kitchen first, massive kitchen. Ten feet long. Loads of storage. Head height on the boat is six foot four. All the lights are LED. So we'll start on the starboard side in here. Loads of work surface, look. Bank of one, two, three, four drawers, varying depths. The cooker's a Thetford Midi Premium oven and grill. And um, it's a Carter or Qatar four burner gas hob. Cupboards next to it. Loads of storage. Some shelves there. And over here is uh, the electrics cupboard. Uh, the isolation fuses. There's an inverter in here. It's an 1800 watt sterling and there's a separate sterling battery charger. More storage on the port side of the boat here. The sort of floor to ceiling cupboard there. The bins down there and then more storage on this side. Under the stainless steel sink. Still struggle to say that. I always want to say stainless steel stink, but <laughs> I'll try not to. The fridge is here. It's a, a 12 volt shoreline with an ice box. And that's the galley. View down the saloon, which is a whopping 15 feet long. There's a, an area here with a little dining table and two freestanding chairs. Television's over there. It's a 24 inch Bush TV DVD player. It's got a Moonraker aerial. And the seating area, there are two opposing sofas, storage underneath. These would serve as, well, two single beds, but you could very easily, easily fashion it to form a huge double, or they are freestanding, so you could put them together to have a cosy double, really. The stove itself is a Firefox 5 solid fuel stove, and in here, I love it, it's got trays of neatly arranged coal ready to go on the fire. Never seen that before. There's the view aft down the sitting room. She fitted out an oak face ply with oak trim, and down the corridor into the bathroom. Ceramic sink, there's a heated towel rail, the loo's a Thetford cassette, there are two spare cassettes on board. There's a cupboard under the sink here. And between the shower and the cabin sides, decent sized cupboards, really quite deep actually. And the shower's a vinyl lined cubicle with a glass door, there's a light over. Now we go into the bedroom. I didn't mention the bed, the bathroom size, five foot ten, and the bedroom is ten foot six. It's a cross bed that measures six foot one long, four and a half feet wide. Storage underneath. Decent size wardrobe here. Little table next to the bed there for a cup of tea, alarm clocks, that sort of thing. Storage under there. Then either side of the steps. There's a little storage unit here. I guess that's a laundry basket or something. And on the other side, a cupboard with a shelf on the top. And 
a drawer under there. Out onto the well deck, the stainless steel water tanks under here, 450 odd litres. There's the storage locker I mentioned at the start. Glazed front doors. And back through we go. Hot water on board is that's heated by the engine, the Wabasto, and there's an immersion heater fitted. Doesn't work at the moment actually, but we're going to get it fixed. Central heating is a Wabasto diesel fired boiler to three radiators and a towel rail. Haven't seen the engine yet, we'll talk you through that when we get out. There are three. 105 amp hour leisure batteries that were brand new in August last year and one starter battery. Two alternators, 100 amps and 50 amps to the starter. The uh, engine, have a look in here, it's a Beta 38. We've been uh, asked to service the engine before she sells, so that will be done. Water tanks on the left hand side of the screen and the batteries on the right. So there we go. She's a really lovely boat, really cosy, I love her. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.